just Hello, the mic everybody. Really, really so, close to your it's great to be here, and I just want to thank a AMSAD, AMSAD, and all you AMSADers. Thank you so much. Great to be here. Hello, and I know that it's usually fun, but we got to do the business meeting. We got to review the society finances. This involves three parts tonight. We're going to do the procedural discussion. We'll review the minutes. We'll discuss the new business office bathroom design contest. We will also vote on the amendments to the AMS SAD Constitution. Next, we'll present key aspects of the budget, and I won't bore you with those details. But I will present the state of the society financial investments and announce the council's decision on proposal for spending. And then we'll go to the book awards. Oh boy. And additional new business. Yeah. So, and first thing, we got to approve the minutes. There was a printer jam. Okay. So we couldn't circulate. They're here on the slide. And everybody take a section to review. And we'll have a motion to approve. And we'll go that real quick. This okay, Matt, you're going to take over? Yeah. Matt, you're going to do the slides. Yeah, 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 these are the minutes. Do we have a motion to approve the minutes? So moved! Uh, we have a second, a second. M minutes approved. I mean, they're great minutes, everybody. They're the best minutes, everybody. Okay, good work. I think I do this work. Oh, yeah, okay. All right. We're, we're, we're swishing back and forth like you do in budget meetings, you know what I'm saying? All right, and uh, so um, as a lot of you know, we're moving on to the office bathroom design contest. And, uh, oh my lord, I've been signed up. Have I really been signed out of this account? How does this keep happening, y'all? This is like, just like, this is just ridiculous here. Yeah, you guys really don't like state universities, huh? All right, so um, we're moving over to me. Um, as you all know, the decoration of the AMS After Dark office bathroom has been a matter of some debate. In a recent council meeting, it was suggested that we open up voting to a general assembly in the form of a simple majority vote. The final designs were curated by a special committee headed by council person Music Theory Augmented. Um, it took uh, over the course of three years to design these, and I answer the motion to vote for the four finalists. Do I have a second? Yeah. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna go through the finalists. We're gonna have a vote. So, um, design choice A is based on the delightful 2003 spring break romp from Justin to Kelly, um, incorporating posters from the theatrical release, and uh, as you can see over there, a, uh, a Justin Guarini shaped soap dispenser. All right, everybody look at example A because we're going to be voting on this later. Okay, and uh, example B, uh, it's similarly based on the 2003 cult classic film From Justin to Kelly. Directed by Robert Asgrove, this design pays homage to the piece's history and longevity, not only by incorporating posters from the film itself, but also mid-2001 cardboard cutout designs of the two pop stars engaged in a singing battle. And I know what you're thinking, they will be, of course, motion-activated, performing recordings of Unchained Melody and Since You've Been Gone, respectively, as patrons come near. That's design choice B. Divine Choice C, it takes a different approach. It adorns the walls with a tessellated pattern design made up of a few hundred copies of the DVD case of the inspirational, award-winning 2003 cult classic from Justin to Kelly. Uh, this design also incorporates, and I want to be clear about this, it incorporates small hanging televisions from the door so employees can watch DVD commentary supplied by Justin Guarini and Kellen Carson as they use the facilities. And this is example C, and I hope that everybody is seriously taking notes of the differences between these examples as a vote will be expected. Oh, I know, it's beautiful. Transistors are, you know, they're underrated, right? Your students never notice, and the amount of work you put into the transitions, it's obscene. <laughs> Finally, design choice D, it takes influence from a simple, modern, Icelandic architectural design by swapping, by swapping buff porcelain sinks for unpolished, sewn troughs. Track lighting will illuminate an earthy, textured tile feature while, um, 
which if you look a little closer is going to be etched with the names of the complete production staff from the timeless, awe-inspiring, modern classic 2003 masterwork from Justin to Kelly. Uh, as you can see here, there's the return of the Justin Guarini-shaped soap dispenser. But this time, the soap is dispensed from his sexy curls instead of his sexy mouth. Yeah. So, um, voting's gonna take place at the end of the meeting, so please remember your favorite. And we're gonna hand the microphone over to our resident secretary, Michael Berner, who's going to go over the AMS After Dark constitutional amendments. Give it up for Michael Berner. So the Constitution's a mess, which is not surprising, but uh, we're gonna continue our efforts to repair the sorry state of the AMS After Dark Constitution, because it's necessary. It's fine! It's not fine. This is not fine. It's fine! <sighs> now, I know, it, this isn't everyone's favorite thing to do, but it needs to be done, and it's just kind of something that has to be done. Look, uh, anyways, this is important. It'll only take five minutes, okay? It'll take five minutes. It'll take five minutes. Just timing. Uh, since we've already demonstrated that we have a quorum, well, let's get on to the proposed amendments. Wait, do we have quorum? Yes! Yeah. Okay, we have quorum. I mean, we would only know that if the constant whatever. We have quorum! I hardly need to remind you why we, this all needs to be done. The circumstances surrounding drafting the AMS After Dark budget and, you know, are just- it's unusual because the entire committee was horrendously drunk. You see, it was Tuesday night tequila shot night, and do I have to go? No, we don't need to relive that night. No one wants it's, to it's that. Anyways, the discontinuity between the bylaws have led to this annual effort to, con uh, to co convert the document into something that's actually usable. So, the first event amendment, and all this was emailed to you, hopefully you read the emails in detail and memorized the changes and differences, but the first amendment to be looked at is Article 2, Section 46, entitled, Dissolving the Society, which currently reads, Never going to give you up, never going to let you down, never going to run around and desert you, never going to make you cry, never going to say goodbye, never going to tell a lie and hurt you. I don't see the problem. <laughs> this is especially amazing, uh, seeing as the document was signed in 1985, a full two years before Rick Astley... Uh-oh. That's what happened to you, battery save mode. Uh, a full two years before Rick Astley released his single hit, Never Gonna Give You Up. The proposed change is to, in the event of the dissolution of the society, any assets remaining will be disposed of by the AMS After Dark Council with the approval of the Justice of the Supreme Court of the State of New York, exclusively by sponsoring a shopping spree event at the target of Setauket, New York on Long Island. All in favor? We're taking a vote now. All opposed? Nay! Nay! Uh, abstentions? Abstentions are important. Oh, that's a lot of abstentions. Do we have quorum if we have that many abstentions? I mean, we haven't decided what constitutes quorum. <laughs> we wrote this when we were really drunk. It, it's, it's who's present. I say the nays have it. But what's present? You just want the eyes to have it, Michael. Fine, fine. You but... hate me. You, you hate me because of that thing. The amen... <laughs> you said we never talk about that. Yeah. In public, Matt. Um, <laughs> So that amendment, okay, that's, so we're going to stick with the recast there, it's great, awesome. Uh, so moving on, second proposed amendment is Article 1, Section 30, and listen up everyone, because uh, this is really important, uh, and it currently reads, quote, You know what guys, it's been a really, really hard year for me, and it's just, it's just so good to have all my best, friend, best friends here in one room. Did I say rum? I meant room. You know, you guys, what I mean is, it's like, hiccup, it's like, why shouldn't we run AMS, you know? I mean, it's all musicology this, and musicology that, and it's this, wait Trish, just, uh, just hold on, I'm getting a page. It's, it's fucking future, man. It's the fucking future. <laughs> so I'll remind it, that, that's the actual bylaws of the, yeah, we need to change that. I'll remind everyone that the bylaws were dictated at a bar in 1985, and I think we can extrapolate that the drunk committee member meant to suggest Measured, measured limitations on executive power within the AMS After Dark Council. So the proposal is that we change the language to simply and concisely, the AMS After Dark Council shall consist of pretty much anybody who wants to join, has passable Photoshop skills, and contacts the existing council members on Twitter. That's it. That's all I want. So all in favor, another vote, say aye. Aye! Oh, okay. This might work. All opposed say nay. Nay! Are we going by volume or number? I am the AMS After Dark Council. Uh, 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 u
It's the same people that I've seen last time. It doesn't count two times in a row. Um, do you even know how to vote? I think the eyes have it. I think the eyes uh, have so it. So this one passes. I'm kind of shocked. I didn't expect I'm anything to be done. I'm shocked too. I'm shocked, guys. I'm, all, I'm honestly a little disappointed. The script actually says, I'm guessing it won't in parentheses, but thanks, thanks. Um, so yeah, that's, okay, one and one. We'll see if it continues. So just one more amendment. Thank you for your patience. This is really important. Uh, we're doing, we're doing really important work here, I guess. The final proposal revision is the bylaws of Article 7-5, entitled Meetings. And it appears to be just a crude limerick that is far too explicit to mention in such a meeting. I mean, really, it's just awful. I'll read it for you. Well, what I can say in public, anyways. Uh, there once was a woman named Alice who used a blank as a blank. They blank her blank, blank blank, Carolina blank, the blank blank blank, Alice blank. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's in the bylaws. Carolina arrives with something. <laughs> I don't see how we can come up with that around So the proposed revision is quiet in the back or the front or wherever we are. AMS After Dark will meet every year on the first Thursday at the AM annual AMS meeting. The AMS After Dark Council will invent the rules that constitute quorum each year to meet their needs. Oh, that'll be fun. Um, so all in favor of the amendment, say aye. 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 All opposed, say nay. Nay. That, uh, that's like decently even. That's decently even. So um, let, let's do raise of hands, eyes. Raise your hand. Nays. Raise your hand. That's still, that doesn't help. That's that doesn't help at all. I'm not a. I, I motion, motion to table this discussion. <laughs> okay, we will revisit this at, at AMS AD 2018. Awesome. We'll have we'll have old business next year. Great. All right. Uh, yeah. So thank you so much for voting on the amendments. I appreciate your attention, and I will turn it back over to Bob for our budget read meeting. Okay, budget. Oh my gosh, the budget. This is less funny than you know. As our legacy <laughs> members may Michael, where's remember, my backpack? there was some disagreement over how best to invest our surplus, with some recommending diversifying healthy risk-based portfolio, focusing on clean energy companies, and others recommending a more risky strategy. Eventually, reason one out. November 97, A.M. Sad purchased 50 sets of 94 Collector's Edition Beanie Babies. And yeah, they're all right here, guys. <laughs> from the reputable firm shop at home, Beanie Babies Show. This included 50. They're beautiful. They are beautiful. <laughs> and in top notch condition. <laughs> they are a beautiful first edition Princess Diana Bear. Beanie Babies. Guys, we can, we can well pass these around and make sure they're other authentic. Other classics such as Bongo, Boo Woo, Echo Echo, which is UK exclusive, and the unfortunately named but absolutely real Leftovers the Turkey. <laughs> mm. It should be noted 15% of our collection include multiple tag errors, which of course inflates the resultant value of those Beanie Babies. Since 1997, Beanie Baby Returns have admittedly not met initial expectations, but where the guideline for sound market investments usually keeping track with S&P, we can see clearly here that the Beanie Baby prices have surprised scholars and dipped below <laughs> inflation. <Okay. laughs> I have the solemn news to report that the original investment of $100,000 is now estimated to be worth $52.24. Ouch. <laughs> While this may seem to be cause for alarm, I encourage the membership to remain calm. I have been advised by our financial planner, Barbara Simpson and Sons, that Beanie Babies are long market and we should not retract our investment due to the incredibly short-term volatility. After all, 20 years is simply too short a period to judge the market potential of these cuddly little investments. We need to stay in the Beanie Baby market. We need to stay in the Beanie Baby market. Stay there, hold on, rather than divert. Okay, let's do it. So, now's the time to announce decisions on spending proposals. Okay, time for spending proposals. The decisions were made at the AMSAD council meeting immediately preceding this event. A reminder that anyone can submit a grant proposal for the discretionary budget 
by visiting the website that is www.twitter.com. <laughs> the first proposal was entered by Ryan Thompson it's for the purchase of a new Xbox, the Am Sad Break Room. Budget is set at $300 for the Xbox One S. Three video games go with it. In the meeting, Ryan argued that the committee could save money by purchasing an older model and that the machine would also be useful for the forthcoming book project that's on his table. Thank you, Ryan. <laughs> but, and I think we can all agree on this, the MSAD Council rejected the proposal, <laughs> citing the need to trim the fat, cut down on frivolous spending in these precarious times. Sorry, Ryan. Second proposal was entered by Matt Bromley, titled Thin Lizzy Concert Fund. Budget 35000 covering cost of five VIP tickets for Boys Are Back in Town tour show, Fort Lauderdale, along with rental driver fees for one white Lincoln stretch limo, one lightning bolt decal, one light white Lincoln stretch limo, 10 bottles crystal champagne, white tux rental fees, and for each member of the M. Sad Council. Naturally, M. Sad Council accepts this proposal, saying this sounded really good, and that the concert is going to be totally red. The final proposal is entitled Remuneration for Me, Bob Judd. It was entered by Bob Judd. He requests, this is all news. He is requesting one glass of Coors Light. Oh, I hate it. As a speaker fee for his presentation for the annual budget at the AMS, after, a, I'm sorry, AMSAD meeting. The AMSAD council decided this should be decided by the meeting participants. So all in favor of buying Bob a silver bullet. Hands up. Okay, anybody opposed to a silver bullet? For God. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, before I go, I, I have another piece of last minute new business. The AMSAD Council have you elected to induct Mr. Matt Brunley as a lifetime member of AMSAD for his tireless service as founder, president, and executive director of the organization. What this really means is that he has to do everything, every year, in perpetuity. Congratulations, Matt! Yes! Yes! Yay from the council! May all your dreams come true, and may your future presentations be followed by actual questions rather than veiled insults. <laughs> Thank you, Bob Judd. Somebody buy this guy a Coors Light. <laughs> now, I want to say, I thought about emailing Bob and saying, hey, Bob, what's your drink so we can buy it? But then I thought it would just be funnier by getting him a silver bullet and bullet. making him drink it. <laughs> Do they even serve... Do they even serve Coors Light here? <laughs> as long as it's cold ice cold we're going to finish up um, the AMS After Dark budget meeting with the announcement of the awards as you do so um, I have the distinct pleasure first off thank you so much for my lifetime inductment and um, I, I think it's really more of an indentured slave like servitude right I mean like you're like forcing me to do this for years I mean till I Retire or die, or graduate? And probably not. <laughs> All right, we're gonna. But I have. We have some. I have. We have some awards of our own to announce. We're gonna announce the. Oh, this was approved by the. I just assume you guys would approve it. Um, we have two amounts. We have two rewards that we give out at the AMS After Dark budget meeting, which is the Weird Al Yankovic Award and the Peter Shickley Award. Um, and so we're going to give them out. So to close out the presentation, it's my distinct pleasure to present the AMS After Dark Awards. The first award is the Weird Al Yankovic Award for Musicological Spoofing, which is presented to writers who contribute to the field of satirical musicology by 
updating musicological classics with a modern twist. This was especially competitive this season with a grand total of four applicants. Um, and, but I hope it's more next season. Please email. Um, and uh, the first Weird Al goes to Catherine Ludlow for her uh, music theater and fantabulous jazz hands. Catherine Ludlow's reimagination of Anger Get Fousers and Mark Everett's edited collection of music, theater, and cultural transport reclaims the history of the jazz hand dance move and reminds us all that there's nothing more important than being fantabulous. Everybody give it up for Catherine Ludlow. Uh, the next winner of the Weird Al Award is Music Theory Augmented for her music in the Western world. Music Theory Augmented's refocusing of Kiera Weiss and Richard Turuxin's classic, classic collection of primary sources argues that history is not so much made as it is wrangled, and that, quote, you'd find it be tied and yarn for hours way wait around checking out Ace High Sources, dang nabbit! Anyway, congratulations, MTA. And to close the night out, I'm happy to present our most prestigious award, the Peter Shickley Award for Lifetime Achievement in General Musicological Silliness, which this year goes to everybody's favorite foul musicology duck. <laughs> musicology duck continues to be a necessary source of merriment and critique on hashtag musicology Twitter. That's a thing now, by the way. Get with it. This award is gonna be presented anonymously, but seeks to recognize the duck, as they are known, for their contributions to musicological silliness, as well as to their general advancement to duck rights, which I we is very important and we can all agree. Everybody give it up for musicology duck, wherever they might be. Probably flying south right now. That's geese, but that's okay. That's all for the AMS After Dark budget meeting. We're gonna close out the presentation by finishing our musicology equals sheeple piece. Everybody give it up again for Mr. Bob Judd, who came all the way, the, the five blocks down here, all the way down here to school us, you know. And I want to invite our next speaker to the stage. We're gonna close out the night with our very own Music theory augmented. And everybody just give a second while we set up. <laughs>